Hello everyone, it's uh, Steve Bodau here from the UK R2 Builders Club. I did a presentation of the Padawan 360 system uh, at the last UK R2 meetup, which was in uh, 2019, and uh, someone suggested to me it might be a nice idea to actually do a build video of the Padawan system. And as it happens, one of the uh, one of my fellow builders has asked me if I would actually build a system for him. So I'm starting to assemble the components. So I thought I'd give you a quick little um, tutorial on how things go together. It is very, very simple. So a quick shopping list of things you'll need. First of all, an Xbox 360 controller, as you can probably imagine. Uh, you will also need an Xbox 360 USB receiver. Uh, this particular one is a, a pattern one. It's not a genuine Microsoft one. Um, I've had... Um, Good experiences with absolutely the Microsoft one. This particular one worked absolutely first time as well, so quite uh, quite impressed with that. Secondly, you'll need an Arduino Uno or an Arduino Mega. Uh, I happen to be using an Uno for this one. Next up, you'll need a USB host shield. Now, what this little uh, board does here is it piggybacks into the Uno and then gives you a way of talking over USB to the actual Uno itself. If you want uh, some sounds, you're going to need some sort of uh, MP3 player. And the one that the board, or the, at least the sketch for Arduino is written for, is one of these. This is a SparkFun MP3 player, as we can see there. So the first thing you're going to want to do is to actually plug the USB host shield into the Arduino Uno. Um, and as I say, they piggyback on each other. These are why they, uh, This is why these things are called shields. Uh, now, trying to do this one-handed whilst holding the camera at the same time should hopefully go quite well. But as you can see, they layer on top of each other and then just make sure all the pins look like they're in the right sort of place, which this one does. And then obviously gently push everything down until it sits in place and you, you can see the black connector there at the back, it's not focusing very well, but that is now fully down. Now typically by this point you're probably going to want to have already uploaded the Arduino sketch uh, written by the very, very talented Dan Krause uh, onto your Arduino board itself, uh, be it a Mega or an Uno, and uh, you do that over a USB uh, lead, which looks like one of those, it's a, uh, traditionally used as a printer lead, um, and then that gets the actual program itself onto the board. Uh, as I've said, you've now got USB, so you can actually plug your USB into the um, USB shield. So now we've done that, uh, the next thing we need to think about is a way of how we're going to power your various boards. Now, right at the moment, I haven't mentioned about the drive control systems. Uh, for this, this particular build, we're going to be using a Sabertooth 32 for the uh, feet motors, and we're going to be using a Siren 10 for the dome. For this particular build, what I'm going to be doing is powering everything off uh, the 12 volt system that the droid is going to run. So uh, the what I've made up is a fairly simple Y lead, um, which kind of daisy chains from one out to the other. So that will plug into both the Uno and also the SparkFun MP3 board through here. Now, I uh, when I originally built my own droid, I didn't use the barrel connector. I actually went off the pins and took five volts out of the uh, Arduino and ran it over that way. And I experienced a lot of problems with it. Um, I would get uh, brownouts of the soundboard occasionally. So basically what it meant was that the sound would stop working from time to time and you had to basically reset the whole thing just to get, uh, get your control of the sounds back. Since I've moved to going uh, 12 volt power, I've had no problems whatsoever. So I would recommend that you do that. Now, one thing I should have mentioned is that if you decide you're going to power your uh, spark fan shield through the uh, barrel connector, and I think that will take, as you can see there, anything from between 4.5 and, and 12 volts, um, you must make sure that this little switch here, if it'll focus in, is flicked towards the EXT side. Um, otherwise, uh, by default, when they arrive, this uh, little switch here, it's a little tricky to see, oh, there we go, uh, will be trying to power it through the 5 volt line, um, so flip that switch into the EXT or external line and um, that way then it will take power through the barrel connector.
Okay, so off camera, I made a couple of connections. Uh, what I did is I took a green, this particular cable is green, and I went from the ground port on the uh, host shield. Bear in mind that these just daisy chain straight through the uh, the main Uno board in this case. And the ground is going over to the uh, ground pin on the spark fun. And the yellow wire, as you can see on the spark fun, is going into the RX or receive. And that goes over to the second pin in from the edge, which is TX. So we're going out of TX from the controller and into RX on the soundboard. So we're transmitting from one, receiving into the other. Now for the uh, demo video, what I've done is I've got the MP3 board just plugged into my Acre amplified speaker, and I'm just running a 12 volt LiPo battery at the moment through that little daisy chain wire I set up. And you can see we've got power on there and we've got a little red light under there. So if I now switch the 360 receiver on you can see now we've got a flashing ring and you heard an audio confirmation that we've connected successfully so now if i just push some buttons you can hear that we get our sound events so we've got a successful connection and if i hold i was holding the uh, top one there um yeah we can uh, change the different sounds so yeah, that's that's it. It's a successful connection. So in the next video, we're going to show you how we connect up to the motor controllers. But in the meantime, thanks very much for watching. I'll speak to you all very soon.